Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a bit different from the norm. For those of you who come here for product reviews and in-depth benchmark comparisons, all that type of stuff, this video might not be of interest. However, for those of you who have been asking for setup tours and behind the scenes stuff for, well, forever really, since the channel started, this should be of interest. I mentioned this sort of stuff in the unboxing series, but for those of you who missed it, uh, almost all the videos, such as the one you're watching right now, are shot in this room. Uh, it's not a big room, but it's not small either. It's six meters by four meters. Uh, and right now it's storing the majority of our product boxes and the gear we use for testing. About six months ago, I built the shelves that you can see behind us that as shelves, they're quite good for storing products on, but they also, as a secondary function, are quite good for a set. Uh, they're certainly more interesting than the white wall that we used to use. Some of you guys that have been subbed to the channel for a while will probably remember the first year or so of the videos where we just had the white wall behind us. And quite a few of you suggested that we should do some shelves or something with some products on there just to make it a bit more interesting, and so that's what we did. So this is where the majority of the presenting takes place but it isn't where we benchmark and test all the products that we do end up reviewing. That's done upstairs in a slightly larger space. Uh, the only problem with that space being that it is a complete and utter mess. Uh, we built the office, or I built the office, up there years and years ago now, and at the time I was doing something completely different. And as that changed, uh, we needed to make a space for Matt and stuff like that. Things got torn out, didn't really get put back properly, and it just became, yeah, a huge mess. So, the mission over the past few weeks has been to tear it all out, uh, completely rebuild something that's neater, and more importantly, more functional. Um, and so that's what I'll be showing you the beginnings of today. So this episode is all about the mess. So guys, this is the benchmark lab, where all the action takes place. Uh, it's a massive, massive mess at the moment. I'm in, currently in the process of pulling it all apart and rebuilding it. But I thought before I do that, I might show you guys what I did have and what I plan to change it to. So at the moment, I've already started pulling a few things down and apart. You can see under the window here, I've torn off. There was a small desk there. This is the main desk here. A real mess now. I built this quite a few years ago. I probably have some photos I can throw up that show it when it was finished and how it worked back then, but yeah, it's not really suitable for how we do things now. Basically, the main middle monitor here is my monitor that I work off, and then these side monitors are the monitors I benchmark on. And each side monitor had two separate built-in test systems uh, that I put in here that to save desk space so that I could uh, test off these monitors on the side. It worked quite well for a while, but uh, we've moved back to using actual cases for testing now. So this is a 5960X system here. You all know this one. So uh, I'm undergoing a few modifications at the moment. Down on the floor, if you can kind of see that, is that's the Core i7 6700K uh, test rig. And then up uh, the top there's the Core i3 6100T test system. We've got the old Haswell rig there. A few other systems over there. And yeah, the shelves are pretty bare at the moment. I'm just in the process of cleaning them all out. A lot of this stuff will go downstairs to the studio uh, before I build the new ones. And over here, so these, these shelves here did have doors on them, um, so I could close it off and it looked quite neat, except that was kind of a mistake because I pretty much spent all day opening and closing the doors constantly, which drove me crazy. Uh, so in the end I took them off, haven't removed the uh, hinges as you can see. And I plan on putting shelves the whole length across this wall here. Uh, and it'll be similar style to what's in the studio downstairs because they work really well for putting products on the shelf and storing things that we're working on. And this little weird shelf here, 
was initially to install my graphics cards or st yeah store the graphics cards probably I don't know for a shelf but uh, this is about a quarter of the graphics cards that we currently have and they were just getting stacked in there it wasn't great for the cards themselves and it made finding cards a bit of a challenge so I've got a different or well, I think what we're gonna do is on this wall just here it's about can't even focus it's about I think that's about a meter and a half and I'm gonna put like just shelves across and have the graphics cards sitting facing outwards on them so that should work pretty well so yeah these drawers here I'm not going to use drawers anymore either um, a few things left in those a couple of heat sinks but yeah they've been emptied now so I'm going to get rid of those you guys might recognize these cases down here one of the first custom builds we did on the channel not doing a whole lot these days got the split system up the top there the server at the moment's down there again it's a real mess but we'll fix that up a lot of stuff at the moment is in tubs so we got the tubs all along here in a one giant mess but what do we got we got power supply cables there Power cables in that one. So that is the messy benchmark lab. Hopefully to be transformed shortly. And I thought I would film this before I pulled it all out to show you guys what we sort of are coming from here. And I will film the process of, you know, building the new one and how we go with that. So I spend most of my time sitting on the Ergo Human right here benchmarking back and forth back and forth over and over again it's a lot of fun but on a nice day like today it's good to look outside it's not a bad view from the office actually it's nice to at least look out there and dream of doing something other than benchmarking for the day but anyway well that wasn't pretty but stay tuned because i will have an update shortly on the progress and soon we should have something much better to work with until then, take it easy and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video.